to expound upon preparing your body for four senses and energy of life, this is where we start with almost every full full eval visit or if we get into consults, it's no matter what your symptoms are, your body is using energy to facilitate healing while getting your attention to make changes. Well, those changes are gonna cost energy, those changes are gonna shift your energy budget, those changes are gonna have you see things that you uh, had either been ignoring or didn't know about, and those changes are gonna require that you do work to initiate some subtle to major shifts in your life, and that's coming from your energy budget. Your energy budget is directly related to your musculature. Your muscles are responsible primarily for managing the forces and energy of your life. Those can span from walking, to rolling over in bed, to laughing, to crying, to consuming a pizza, to consuming a grape, to defecating, to cleaning yourself, to having a difficult conversation, to avoiding Googling your symptoms, to avoiding, you know, practitioners, to breaking up with a profession, to, um, you know, a surgery or a procedure. Um, we've perverted what muscle is to hit calorie deficit or aesthetics or competition or this rage or hormones or dopamine. And it's unfortunate because it's, it's quite possibly one of the most important tissues in the body if we were to single one out. And that's why it doesn't matter whether you're riddled with two healing responses that are tumors or cysts or skin responses or infertility or hormones or digestion or immune or uh, musculoskeletal uh, joint um, orthopedic you tending to your musculature has to be your number one number one priority that you're intertwining with everything else and then looking at um, everything that's going to touch muscle from there um, that's why training has to be very intimately yours because you're the only one that knows, one, what you're healing to, two, how your life looks, what you're spending on, three, what you're gaining from, uh, the cost benefit there, and then really, you're the only one with you at all times, at any given time. So whether you're in a foreign hospital, or you are traveling, or you're in an office for 12 hours, or you're at home with three kids, or you've got three businesses, or you've got sores all over your face, or you're depressed, guilty, anxious, shameful, or you're in love and ambitious. It's it's you with you. And that's another thing with training. Training is the primary way to add muscle to the system. How long are we gonna be exposed to forces of life for the rest of our lives? How long are we required to train the musculature of our bodies to go to the infinite, unlimited potential forever? Um, so that just puts that to bed where training is conditional to you know, whether or not you can get to a facility, which we got to close all these down because they're just antagonizing healing and humanity in every way, but um, to a certain sex or to a certain level of ability um, in group format. Uh, and then it just disappears as we, uh, as we experience more life on the planet, more years. And then now everyone's talking, okay, to, you know, increase muscle and increase, make it harder for you to die. It's always this like, you know, like punishment type rigid militant style of, and it'll be said weightlifting. Well, life is not about weight, life is about force. And you can get an example of this by just simply pressing your hands together or clapping your hands. That right there. How did you generate that? It's from you. Now clap harder than anything that's ever affected you in your life or it's ever harmed you. Because training has to exceed anything that's ever caused damage, that stimulus, and that includes mom and dad who did the best they could that includes a life of stories that as long as you're still here they didn't get you so you are the adult who's in a position to be able to understand this that whether it's a belief system that you have to change or a uh, damaged cause from something like an accident um, or an event or a sport or a person um, or experiencing loss of some kind uh, you have to exceed that at any given time, and that's going to come from your training. Primarily, the thing that stimulates the tissues and the nervous system at the same time, in leaps and bounds ahead of nourishment that food or drink or sleep or light could ever give. Those touch training, but training is by far the uh, most compounding interest account building essential that we have. It's not a choice, and it's not a 
luxury and it's not a when well when the season calms down or when i get more time or when i it's it's light to a plant it's it you would when you wake up and you're planning your day your training inputs have to supersede you thinking about dinner you thinking about breakfast you thinking about light you thinking about naps and rest are you thinking about meditations are you thinking about reading and leisure and girls trip girls lunch guys lunch guys trip are you thinking about golf are you thinking about um you know uh, gardening you think it has to come to the forefront because our ability to even participate in any of those things that we enjoy comes from your ability to manage the force of your life that comes from the amount of muscle you have on your system that comes from training and true training will never be in a group format or in a facility because you could you imagine going to a facility or going in a group and you're trying to get nourished and you just hold out a plate and you're just scooped shit onto the plate all right clean your plate and that's the majority of your nourishment coming from training is going to some place three to five times a week or going to a group format or a spin class or a something like that so all that has to dissolve one of the biggest reasons i closed my office down it just didn't make sense anymore it wasn't effective that model um and when you know what you know then you just can't ignore it and there's no um there is no excuse past that point and then if you don't want to do it you just admit you don't want to do the work but um it doesn't matter what the healing response is your ability to sustain the symptoms and survive comes from your amount of muscle the ability of you to make changes that might increase the symptoms for a period of time or might actually show the true ones that were kind of hidden and sort of minimized and, and warped because of supplements herbs treatments physical therapies all the therapies and all the stuff that stuff has to come back your ability to handle new levels um of symptoms which mean higher levels of healing comes from your amount of musculature on your system um your energy budget your ability to survive then and sustain the depths of the changes because we're all like oh we want to change our lives so drastically we're gonna we're gonna take this on and we want a new job relocate you know shift this leave him leave her join him join her have a child have this grow this it's your garden the amount of dirt and soil in your garden is literally the amount of usable muscle on your system and i say usable because we're the way we're acquiring this asset and this energy expenditure tissue uh it's not usable at all we have just these gargantuan people or these aesthetically pleasing viewing people gaining in gyms and facilities and through programs and all this stuff but they don't know how to use it there's the body doesn't know how to use it because they went ahead and they gained it in a way that the system just has no idea uh the appearance of it is there but they're very easy to cut through very easy usually hiding symptoms in some way usually hiding multiple injuries in some way that's why they got into that in the first place that's why they look the way they do um and so it's washing out from all that getting away from all that and then truly coming back in and putting usable dense uh high high uh interest energy onto the skeleton that is you and that comes from true training to address the uh cash <laughs> the cash that you have to use in your day to day so again it also has you check in with seeing how you're doing uh hypersensitizing your body and when you're truly gain strength true you're not numb to everything you're not all doped out on dopamine and and you know hormones and all this other stuff now you become hyper sensitive to the point that you sense stuff before the big stuff has to happen and that's one of the points that's the way we live and that's why we are designed this way um and why true training has to sit the way it does is that it has you check in with you because your symptoms are the your language and nobody interprets your language it's your individual language that nobody knows it's not like chinese or japanese or italian or spanish or it's your specific language and to check in with yourself and interpret what your language is um because you're adding words you're increasing your vocabulary and it's you with you uh but you will hypersensitize 
to think that you will go through life feeling less as you start to abide by rules and carving poetry in your granite is is not true it's opposite you are going to experience more and you're going to feel more and understand more but because you feel more and understand more that's more healing that's more opportunity that's more guidance that's more of a discussion it's more of a dialogue instead of a one-way conversation as it has been because you've been ignoring for so long so um many different layers here but that's where we started and this post today came up just because i was making an exit video for a client and uh it came out of my mouth that way and i was like oh man that was good i wanted to share that so wrote it now um enjoy